am Barbara Sexton Smith, President and CEO of the Fund for the Arts, and as you can see, I'm standing out here on Main Street in the rain doing one of my very favorite things. That's right, I am promoting Together Through the Arts We Create a Great American City. And if you look on my umbrella, you can see that right there. And if you see any purple and green umbrellas around this season, you know those are great arts supporters, and we appreciate every one of you. All right. Tap down the street with me here. That's right. How do you tap into the arts? You've heard me talk about Greg Heitzman, our campaign chairman this year. He's threatening to get tap shoes on. And if you tap down the street with me to the Kentucky Museum of Art and Craft, we can go in there together and learn all about storytelling as a great form of art. Yes, that was the original form of art. Remember Iliad, Odyssey, Homer, something like 15,000 lines or whatever? I don't know how they ever remembered them. All I want you to do, though, is remember that together through the arts, we're doing some great things. Just last week, we kicked off our next leadership development program, and it's the most prestigious leadership development program for young professionals in our community. And we have 40 folks that are partnering up in different teams, and they'll be visiting all of the major arts organizations, as well as our youth performing arts organizations and visual arts and so forth. They're going to get to go behind the stage, under the stage, meet visual artists, pick up a canvas and a paintbrush, look at financial statements, look at marketing plans, get involved in fundraising, learn everything you have to know to be able to run a major nonprofit arts organization in these days and times. And thank goodness for these young professionals who are stepping up to the plate. More importantly, I want to take a moment and reflect. That's right, Stokeen and Ogden and Fund for the Arts has partnered up together to remember all the leaders that have dedicated a lifetime to making this a better community through the arts. So we are accepting nominations right now through September 30th for the James Welch Senior Arts Leadership Award. So go online to the Fund for the Arts website and nominate someone that you know has dedicated a lifetime to the arts in this community in a volunteer capacity. Someone who's been leading quietly, maybe under the radar screen. Someone who has been dedicated to a number of arts organizations. Jim Welch, as an attorney with Stokeen and Ogden, served for the Fund for the Arts Board of Directors for many years and served as our chair at one time. So please, join me and join others in nominating folks for this award. Morton Boyd has won this award and Tom Nolan has won this award. Together, through the arts, we create a great American city.